Hi, this is Rich. I'm with my brother Dave and we're working today. We're renovating a large lake house and we have to redo mostly all the electrical. This unit is almost 35 years old. It is operating these four lights and when I go to turn it on, it's intermittent and the whole issue is this is just a faulty switch. So basically what we want to do is replace both of these switches and it'll work perfectly. All right, now I'm over at my electric panel and what I need to do is find the circuit that's running the garage lights. I know it's number five on the right. And as you look at these different circuits, you can see that they have different numbers on them. So this is the amperage. This 20 means it's 20 amps. This 15 means it's 15 amps. So I know I'm looking for circuit number five on the right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. It's this one and it says 20. So it means I'm going to need to put a 20 amp switch to replace the one that I'm taking out. So to turn off the circuit, all I'm gonna do, you can see it went dark in here. I went from left to right and now that circuit is off. The switch cover plate just has four screws that are holding it on. All right, and I had to pry it off because it's been on here for over 30 years and you can see it looks pretty old and dingy. So what I'm gonna do before I proceed is I have a volt tester and this is made by a company called Fluke. And I think they're around $25, $27. You can pick it up at any hardware store. Well, you have to turn it on, that helps. Okay, so to use this tester, all I'm gonna do is touch where the power comes in. And right now it's flashing red, which means that there's no power. But if it was glowing red and it was giving a beep, it would say that that does have power. So I know that the circuit is off. All right, now this switch has two retaining screws. One is on the top and one is on the bottom. So we just have to take those off. Just have to unscrew those. Okay, once you get the retaining screws off, then you can just pull this switch out. You can see how it's wired. Even though this looks like there's three wires, there's, there's really only two because this one's been stripped and it's just wrapped around the screw. These are both hot wires because they're both black wires, even though you might say, wait a second, that looks like there's white on it. Well, somebody's just spray painted and gotten white paint all over these black wires. But these are both hot wires. And the way the switch is working is power is coming in through one wire and then it's going through the switch and out to the light it travels through this other wire and the switch either allows the power to go through when it's on or it turns the power off when it's down. So it's like an interrupter of the power and that's how the switch works. So all we're going to do is loosen these two screws. We'll pop the wire off. You have to just kind of pull it apart. And then that one's off. It's the one on the right. And then all right, they've stabbed this one into the back. Some switches have a release on them to release the back stabs. This one didn't. Sometimes you can pull them out, but if it won't come out, then you have to cut it and strip it back. Okay, so that's got a little paint on it. This is a wire cutter and a wire stripper. They sell them at all the hardware stores. Basically, you have to try to find if you close it up, you can see that there's different size holes depending on the size wire you've got. So you've got to figure out which one you've got. 20 amp is 12 gauge wire. There's little numbers right on there. And so 12 is at the very bottom here. So we're gonna use that bottom cutter to strip this wire. And to do that, you just put it around the wire and go all the way around it. And then you just pull toward yourself. And now you've got the wire stripped. So you would strip that back till it's about a half inch to three quarters an inch so that you've got enough room to put it back on the new switch. All right, now this, this is the old switch and it had the screws on each side of it. This is the new switch. Even though it's not exactly like the old one, it works the same way. There's one at the top and one at the bottom and it really won't matter which one goes on the top and which goes on the bottom because they're both hot wires. The hot wire, which is the black wire, attaches to the brass screws. A switch can be wired using the back stabs on the back or the screws on the side. We use the screws because they secure the wire better. I'm wrapping that around the screw and we have to tighten it back up. 
Make sure it's good and tight. Then this other one is going to bend around the top screw. All right, so I'm going to use needle nose pliers. And what I'm wanting to do is just make the shape of like the letter C. And we'll go in a clockwise fashion. So I'm, I'm taking this straight wire and I'm bending it around, making a little loop. I guess like a hook. And then I can, I made that actually a little too tight. So now I just put my hook over the screw and then I'm bending, I'm using the pliers to bend the wire around it to give it nice contact with the screw. And now I'm going to tighten that one up. Now we don't want those to come loose, so now that's good and tight. Now we're gonna take all these wires and we wanna push them into the box so that we can get our switch cover back on. And sometimes there's not a lot of room in the box, so you have to press pretty hard. And then we've got the two screws that we removed earlier that we're gonna put back on so that we can fasten this. These come with a little, like a little washer that holds everything securely. So sometimes kind of tricky because you gotta feed it through. Okay, so now we just gotta get this top screw back on. Okay, so that's good and tight. It's on there securely. Eventually we're gonna get better outlet cover, but for right now, this is gonna have to do. When I went to put this one on, it didn't line up right, so I need to make an adjustment. It, the whole, the switch I just put in needs to move over to the left, because I can't get the switch plate back on. No big deal. All I gotta do is loosen both of these. And then I'm gonna push the whole switch over to the left. And I'm gonna tighten it back up. Okay, now hopefully this is gonna line up. All right, that's better. All right, so this has four screws. So now hopefully when we go put the power back on, we will have a working switch. Now I'm back to the circuit panel. And the circuit is number five from the top. So one, two, three, four, five. It's this one that's off. We flipped it on. And now the moment of truth. Here it goes. Oh, let's try that again. We'll see, there's off, there's on. Hey, and it's not flickering, it came right on. It means we did something correctly. So that's it basically, that's how you can replace any switch. Thanks for viewing. Good luck with your projects.